Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. on our second day of the cruise, and I am up and ready to go do some exploring. It is our day in Nassau today, but um, I need more time on the ship. We have been to Nassau a couple times and done that, so I really want to use the time to explore this ship because can't do it all in three days. Um, there's an open house in, uh, at uh, the kids club today, uh, first thing this morning for the first couple of hours with some character meets, and um, so I'm looking forward to that. Or that is a duck. This is a duck. You found a duck. I found a duck. Are you repeating everything I say? Hello. Hello. So as we were starting to walk back out of the rows, um, I noticed some of the artwork. So I figured I would do a quick walk back through and highlight the artwork. Now that right there, that's a piece of art. My reflection. Oh. <laughs> Notice the laugh from Dizarella back there. This is one of the restaurants on board. The main dining restaurants was called 1923 in homage to Mr. Walt Disney himself. Let's take a look real quick. It has a lot of memorabilia. I'm told different 
just tributes to the films of Walt Disney. You can see here. We're in port now, so you can see the ship beside us. But nice, elegant steakhouse vibe. Smaller room over here. The tables are quite close together, and there are very few tables that seat only two on this ship. Um, definitely geared towards the larger party sizes. So there you have it. And so this is the Walt Disney dining room. It's the same restaurant, but on the other side, and I'll show you that in a minute, is the Roy Disney room. So, and you can see this does go back quite a ways, um, but it's kind of choppy, not one big cavernous room. And then, like I said, on the other side, you have the Roy Disney dining room for the same restaurant. So let me take you over there and I'll show you that. Over here you can see is the Roy Disney dining room, which is just basically a mirror image of the other side and it pays tribute or at least is it all pays tribute to the films of Walt Disney, but it is named for Walt Disney's brother, of course, Moana over here. And frozen yeah I'm excited about this one all right okay y'all so this art piece here reminds me a hundred percent of the price is right you see this it's a little thing he goes up the mountain hold on we'll wait for the next one look look there's the Disney cruise ship in the background, it really is kind of lovely. You've got characters, hopefully the next. What's Don in the green too? I don't quite understand. I don't know. I like the bluebirds. Where's the mountain man? <gasps> oh my, P5 folk fun. What is that character's name? The... Giant, I guess. Giant and the Beanstalk? <laughs> or what, what is it called? <laughs> the Giant and the Beanstalk. Okay, we're just going to run no, with that. What is it called? I can't remember. We're just going to run with it. Come on now. We are... Come on, mountain Mel guy. Melanie's like... Cinderella was in... Um, was in uh, uh, The Little Mermaid, right? a dwarf that was the beanstalk guy see I there's know a, that. I think maybe that's not a beanstalk I don't know what this is is this Cinderella I don't know oh, but you've got yeah. Donald and Mickey and was there a cruise ship in look Cinderella? okay there he goes I can't it's like the yodeling guy going up the mountain on what the price is right I don't know Somebody out there has to know. Comment below if you know the name of the Price is Right game that I'm talking about. And you'll win something. Our utmost respect. You will win it. So we are on, I believe it's deck two, uh, midship area in the Oceaneers Club, one of the uh, kids areas, uh, in the Avengers uh, room. I'm not sure the actual if there's an actual name specific to this room, but we'll just call it the Avengers room or the Marvels room. And as you can see, this is where they have um, character meet and greets, etc. I know uh, uh, Ant Man and Wasp were here earlier. Spider Man's here now, and I think Black Panther is coming up uh, shortly. Um, but they have uh, all of the. Marvel uh, Avengers characters uh, in this room. There's a lot of things for uh, for kids to do when they're down here in the Oceaneers Club. 
um, and so it's uh, it's a pretty neat little area. We've just uh, just been here about five minutes, but it's a pretty cool little area. And uh, Melanie, what was it you were saying about this? This is where kids can scan their band and create their own superhero costumes. Oh, that's cool. going to get some lunch um, so we are coming in to decided not to go up to the buffet we're going to do the uh, Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods uh, so they've got uh, different areas that each one are 
different types of food, different styles, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I will make the way around and show you what we got. So first and foremost, we got the taco stand, Mexican, Mexican food, which is called Donald's Cantina. And a nice uh, hot sauce and toppings and whatnot for Donald's. Then we come up here to Daisy's Pizza Pies. Self-explanatory. And right here at the end, so I can say the center of the area, is Mickey's Smokehouse Barbecue. I think this is where we're going to come back to, again, uh, beating it to death about the macaroni and cheese, but uh, we got to try this macaroni and cheese and see if it's any better. And condiment stations, there was another one on the other side for the uh, smokehouse. And then we have Goofy's Grill. So hamburgers, hot dogs, fruit fries, etc., etc. Uh, that's an interesting uh, drawing. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Maybe mashed potatoes? I don't know. And condiment station. And then we got the ice cream station. Hello! And then we got the bar. So my two favorites, back to back. We got the ice cream and we got the bar, back to back. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know the right way. <laughs> All right, so that is the entire uh, Mickey's food area. I already forgot the name. Uh, and it brings us back around to the uh, pool deck on the other side. So uh, let's get our eat on. All right, so we're going to uh, try out Mickey's Smokestack Barbecue. Uh, of course, you all know uh, my big issue with the food on all of these cruise lines has been the lack of a decent macaroni and cheese. Um, so up at the buffet yesterday, still the same macaroni and cheese as on the Dream. Uh, not really impressed, uh, uh, as I've said 5,000 times. But a lot of folks online have been saying that the macaroni and cheese here is a lot better. So we're going to jump in here, grab some brisket and some mac and cheese, a couple other things, and we'll see how it is. Fingers crossed that it's better than any of the others. And so let's see, we got a couple of ribs, we got the brisket, and let's do the mac and cheese, of course. Mac, mac, and and cheese. Cheese. mac and cheese? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, we got some other. Coleslaw? Uh, yes, some coleslaw, please. And is that cornbread back there? That's a jalapeno. Jalapeno cornbread. Jalapeno cornbread. That's even better. Let's do that. How many pieces are there? Uh, yeah, one's good. One's good. Oh, are those collards? What are those? Ah, uh, see, if we got room on there, I gotta have the collards. This is just going to be a snack, but I think this is going to be more than a snack. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. And how's that looking? All right. So here we go again. Um, of course, we're starting with the macaroni and cheese. Uh, let's see. Again, I'm not overly, as far as the look of it, it just it doesn't look any different than any of the other uh, that we've had on really any of the cruises, but it, it might be better. I mean, the only, the only it difference is mildly is, better. You know, we will, we will see. Let's give this a shot. All right. It's the same macaroni and cheese. I mean, I don't know why they would have a different one over here than they would have uh, over in the uh, buffet. It's the same macaroni and cheese. It's a little creamier, and I don't even know what to call, I guess, what would the topping be? A breading. breading. 
that's not on any of the others that, that we've had, but it really adds nothing. Um, I guess it's just there for... for Still flavorless cheese. Yeah, it really is. It's a Watery. Little, it, it is a little creamier, but I'm sure that would be different from batch to batch. And I am saying batch to batch because obviously I make these in very large uh, batches. But at any rate, um, yeah, let me give it one more shot. No? All right. So the challenge still stands, all you guys. Carnival, Disney, Royal Caribbean. Those are the only three that we've been on. Somebody's got to come up with a good macaroni and cheese. So this ain't it. Just saying. So jalapeno, jalapeno cornbread, pretty good. Not overly impressed with it. It's okay. It's all good. Get up on the coleslaw. That's good. You can use a little bit of salt. I always put a little bit of salt on mine. Didn't see it up there. I'm sure it's somewhere. But no salt. I didn't, didn't put any on it, but it is good. It is good without it, but I prefer it with salt. Now, those are healthier color yeah, greens. These are, yeah, they, they look greener and, and crisper than... than uh, Not cooked to, to yeah. death. All the nutrients removed so we'll with see. a pound of fat. Well, right, right. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I, I do like collards, uh, but we'll see. Remember I said Guy Vietti's um, uh, place on Carnival. That, that was the best thing on that menu. So let's see how these are. No. That's a hard swing and a miss. A hard swing and a miss. Come on now. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I love collards. No. No. They're good for you. I don't know the collards are supposed to be. Anyway, all right. Yes, they are. All right, so let's see. Right let's try the brisket. Good for you and flavorless. That's called Hummus. Um, and I'll try these ribs too. They're not quite fall off the bone, as you can see, but you know, taste wise, they are they are very good. I mean, Try one of these. I will say for the fact that, that Guy Fieri put his name behind um, Carnival. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the restaurant on Carnival. And it just lackluster as all of his meat was. This is, um, excuse me, it's, it's a real laughing. Um, I said it with a straight face, but now she's laughing. Um, this was, is, Disney did a much better job. So, guy, maybe you see about branding with Disney. Just say. Try, try one of these sweet potato fries, because I think they're really good. Well, I actually have one while, while you were gone. And, uh, I actually think they need a little more seasoning. They're, oh, good lord. They're very good. They're some of the best sweet potato fries I've so ever had. Comes me eating and giving my opinion. And the argue with them. Again, it's just my opinion. She likes them. I don't dislike them. I just think that they could have a little bit more seasoning on